Hello friends, welcome to Toy Cafe, I am your host, and in this video we are putting together another miniature dollhouse, but this time I don't think miniature is the right word for it, look at that mansion. Yeah, this is a Spanish style mansion, and this whole kit is humongous. So let's not waste any time, and let's get started. So we'll start with the same thing as we always do, get it out of the box first, and you notice everything's in lots of little bags. That's actually a good thing when dealing with a kit this big, because it means everything's organized and easier to find, as opposed to having a kit with everything in one big bag, where you have to hunt through all the little pieces to find what you need. Lots of big pieces of paper as well, for wallpapers and whatnot. So we'll get those started, get cutting, lots and lots of cutting. And we'll start with the walls. Here I'm doing this the way I like, and that's starting with the shape of the house itself and then fill it up inside out. Although this may not be the easiest way to do things. Uh, it can be easier to assemble the little bits and pieces, especially lights or anything that needs wiring. Assemble those first and then assemble the house and that way you can run the wires easier and get things into the little nooks and crannies that develop. But I like doing the house first, even if it is a little bit harder sometime. So the house is coming together well. Most of these pieces were fairly straight, not too much warping. And most of them were the right size. I did have to trim a few pieces here and there, sand a few others, but for the most part, Everything came out just the right size, which is another delight when putting together a kit. Or any dollhouse kit. Or really anything at all. And we're adding in a double-decker uh, balcony here. <laughs> Two balconies, one on top of the other. This is a three-story mansion. And it's just humongous. Adding some details on around, adding the bathroom there, that will become the bathroom, all those tiles. There's a wall all the way around the outside of the house, and I'm adding some decorative molding to that to get that to go together. And I think the decorative mold molding in this kit is especially nice, although the pieces weren't cut quite the right size, and they weren't quite the right shape. Some of them are meant to be mitered and go together, they just didn't fit perfectly, but a little bit of trimming and some careful sanding and everything works out. A lovely little trellis here. We're building some of the outside stuff, and this is part of the outside wall as well. So we got to get that going before we finish it. And here you can see that little miter joint in there. That's all mine. I had to figure that out myself to get it to fit properly. Thankfully, though, the piece was actually a little bit long, so it worked out pretty well. Adding some fences on there. Don't want anyone to fall off the balcony, of course. <laughs> and more fences all around. I like how they lined everything in wood in these uh, places. In the balconies and around the doors and all kinds of places. It uh, really gives it a nice look and makes things look better. More finished, polished. Yep, now we're building a window to go over the balcony in the upstairs. A couple windows and they get you to glue together the framework and then attach it to the plastic it's actually easier if you attach it to the plastic as you're doing the framework because it uh, plastic will hold things together for you but either way works fine if you're careful and take your time so we're adding on the roof part now I do like those three little windows inside the roof piece yeah that little round window didn't want to fit quite right but now we're adding little details to all the windows. I love these shutters. These shutters look fantastic. And that's just some loose woven th cloth over the cutout shutter detail put together. They look really nice. Very Mediterranean. Now we're building a bed. A bed that strangely has molding on it that matches the outside wall molding. <laughs> Maybe not something you'd see in real life, but it looks good. Yeah, nice little bed. And we'll keep assembling furniture here. There is a lot of furniture to get through. This is another bookshelf. Yeah. And that's the encyclopedia something or other. Yeah. All in one volume. <laughs> one solid piece. A little laptop computer here with the aid of some stickers, little pieces of wood. It's a little bit bare, but uh, it works. It gets the idea across, especially in this scale. This is smaller than 124 scale, so it's not really, you don't really need as many details as you usually have in other kits. 
where everything is so much smaller, but it's still nice to have some details in there. It really sells it, makes it look a little more realistic. Yeah, and you'll find yo-yos all throughout this kit. They give you a bead, and you're meant to place one as a yo-yo, but they give you more than one of that bead just uh, just because it's such a small wooden piece. It might get uh, damaged, so throw in some couple extra, which is nice, but I ended up putting yo-yos all over the place. <laughs> See if you can spot some more as we go along. Here are some more shutters. These are just the same as the ones I put up before. Oh, sorry, these are cabinet doors, but they're very similar to the shutters. It's the same idea, and they look fantastic too. I've never seen doors with a cutout and cloth behind them. I've seen people use cloth instead of doors, like a little curtain, but I think that would look pretty good. Doors with a cloth panel. Maybe we have to try that sometime to see how they look in real life. Some candles, some bags, and I think now we're building an easy chair and probably a sofa as well. Yeah, getting that all together. These little frames and the solid pieces, the, the little frames themselves look fantastic and you only need a few pieces to really finish it off and sell it as a sofa. Maybe not the comfiest or the most expensive sofa, but still, it works really well. It really sells that idea. Makes me want to sit down in them. Yeah. Lots of stripes. <laughs> most of the material they gave you was uh, in this kit was um, the same same stripe pattern and you see it repeated throughout the house so everything matches but not in a natural way yeah they gi did give you lots and lots of little detail pieces here for this table though i like that very much really made it look full and busy and like it's actually being used you know how in real life everything gets crowded and overflowing and any flat surface you know will be used to hold whatever you got and all the junk and all the used plates and things yeah or maybe you don't know and you're a neat freak but uh <laughs> i'm not anyways i always like that i think it makes everything a little more realistic so we've built ourselves a beautiful little trellis here and we're putting some plants on these are real real plants they're dried so we just got to glue them down try to convince them to bend around and try to make it look like this plant's growing over the top of the trellis i think it does pretty well yeah, we're adding some more fluff to it to make it more like a plant. There's more plants in the background. There was actually a lot more plants in this kit than I show. Whoops, that ring fell off. That wasn't right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, I made all the ones that they called for, but you could have added a whole lot more to this garden. Really made it full and flowery if you wanted to. I thought something a little more bare might be better, just so you can see some of the details and some of the workmanship. Get the little breakfast nook going there. Some pretty uncomfortable chairs. Yep. And a hanging potted plant. Uh, the, don't adjust your set. The uh, bedroom is not crooked. It's just the camera. <laughs> that bed. I like that bed. That was a very fancy little bed. Simple to make, but uh, came out looking very ornate. And, uh, yeah, you haven't really seen it again in other kits. Uh, beds quite as ornate or fancy. The dining room is outside. This is definitely somewhere in the Mediterranean, south of France, maybe. And here goes the little bathroom. We got our vanity in there, our bathtub that's going to spill all the water, <laughs> and our sink and our toilet. Those taps are actually ones I made myself from beads that I bought. I didn't like the taps that they had. Uh, I used my own. And in the bathtub, there's also some soap suds there. I don't think it plays very well because white on white. But uh, yeah, they're there. Get those wires up in there <laughs> out of the way. Get the roof on. Yeah, I was smart about that. I put the roof and doors on last to try to save myself some grief getting everything in there. But uh, yeah, if I had waited to put the floors on after I finished the lower floor, it probably would have gone a little bit better. But it's just how I like to do things. And well, if you like doing things a certain way, especially with this hobby, you definitely got to do it however you want to, because that's what it's for. It's for having fun, enjoying yourself, giving yourself a break. So, and there's my Mediterranean mansion. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a pretty handsome little house. The back isn't so great. That's why I don't, I don't show it. It's kind of unfinished. It's definitely meant to be seen from three sides only. But there were lots of details, lots of little things to put together in this kit. And that's something I really like. Sometimes when you get a, a larger kit, 
there aren't really enough little things to fool around with and add to your pictures to make it worthwhile or add to your dollhouse to make it worthwhile it, things get lost very quickly yeah there are those soap suds running out of the foot of the bath <laughs> yeah but this one had lots and it really made it look nice yeah so i hope you enjoyed watching that and if you did please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon and if you really want to help me out uh down in the bottom in the description are links to amazon and if you buy any of the supplies i use or anything at all after clicking those links amazon will kick back a few cents to me and i will then use that money to help make more videos to show to you so anyways i hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching Bye bye